Sage Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. At the top of the newscast, we showed you the cloud cover hanging over Lancaster, but what a difference over in Harrisburg. If you're watching us in the capital city, you actually have mostly sunny conditions now, and the temperatures are starting to warm back up. Outside right now in the capital city, 74 degrees. Dew points still high right now in the mid 60s and a light breeze out of the south. Notice on Super Doppler 8, no rain, but you can see that thick cloud deck continues to erode from west to east. York, you're seeing some sunshine. Lancaster County still thick with clouds, but over the next hour or so, I do expect the skies to turn mostly sunny. Notice north of Williamsport to Pittsburgh, a narrow band of clouds. That's where the cold front is. We actually had a weak cold front stall over the Susquehanna Valley as we went through last night, and that helped get the showers going that produced some heavy rainfall. That is now fizzled out, but eventually this cold front will move across the Susquehanna Valley as we head through the afternoon. May spark an isolated shower, but you will certainly notice things starting to feel more comfortable by the evening. So for today, back up in the low to mid 80s for our highs. It is going to be mostly clear overnight tonight and temperatures falling down into the 50s. That's where we should be for this time of the year. And then for tomorrow, a cooler and breezy day. But dry temperatures returning to the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Look at the temperature difference 69 right now in Lancaster and 68 in Lebanon, but closing in on 80 toward Chambersburg and Gettysburg. And Lewistown, you're near 80 degrees as well. Everybody still has muggy dew points sitting right now in the mid 60s to some spots near 70 degrees. But look what's happening off to our west. 50s in Bradford, 40s right now in Erie. That's that drier air that is going to be coming on in once that front gets here. So that stall frontal boundary has eroded over the Susquehanna Valley, but it's going to be until later this afternoon when this front moves on through. In the meantime, could spark an isolated shower or a thunderstorm now that the sun is out. This high pressure ridge back behind the front will control our weather as we head through tomorrow. It's going to be a cooler and more windy day during the afternoon hours. So the front moves on through. You can notice just the chance of an isolated shower by 6 o'clock. A lot of the area is certainly going to be noticing the lower dew points and that drier air moving in. Mostly clear skies overnight tonight with a strong breeze out of the northwest. And then a beautiful day is in store for Wednesday with some passing clouds. There is a weak disturbance that's going to be moving in from our southwest by the time we head into Thursday morning. Current thinking as the rain chances will stay to our south. But any little deviation, this may sneak a little farther north. We may see an isolated shower on Thursday. Right now we're calling it dry, but that may change. We're going to continue to watch and fine tune the forecast very closely and see how that develops off to our west. So mid 80s today, and then down come the dew points. Temperatures fall into the 50s overnight tonight. Only make it to the upper 60s tomorrow. Comfortable weather, but mostly cloudy weather for Thursday with highs near 70 degrees. And then a slow warm back up to near seasonal averages as we head into Memorial Day. Chances for rain return to the forecast late Sunday on into the actual holiday itself. Not a bad week? Not too bad. Finally getting a break yeah. from that high muggy humidity that we've been seeing like for the it. past couple of days. All right. Thank you so much, Ethan. Well,